Hi everybody, Lars Christensen here from Autodesk. One of my favorite things about the CAM developers here at Autodesk is that they love to share updates. You don't have to sit around and wait for one yearly release, but you can actually go right to cam.autodesk.com and download development updates. Now, as you can see, these guys have been busy the last few months. Lots of new updates and features. And just to give you a couple of examples, let me switch over here to a inventor assembly. Now, for new features, there's an awesome new engraving, but I think my favorite is the updates to patterning. Now, I think it's okay to be lazy when it comes to CAD and CAM, and this function fits right into my personality. You will see that I've already added some toolpath to the first part, and to machine the three other parts, you could of course use different work offset out of the machine and pick each part up. But one of the great things about doing CAM inside of Inventor is you can have a total duplicate of what you have out of the machine that you can actually trust. I'm going to select all my toolpath by holding down the shift key and select the top and the bottom operation. Now, if you didn't know that trick, it also works in Windows. Now, just right click and then select Add to New Pattern. Now the easiest thing with these menus is always start from the top and work your way down. So this is going to be a linear pattern and direction number one is going to be a horizontal edge and there's gonna be a spacing of 150 millimeters. And then I can actually add an additional direction. Now direction two is going to be a vertical edge and I'm going to paste in this distance I measured before you clicked on this video. No way I would ever remember that number. Now, also notice how you can change operation orders for your tools. That's it, from one to four parts programmed in less than a couple of minutes. Now, if you're familiar with tombstone machining, you might ask if I don't have another four parts sitting on the other side. And yes, I do. <laughs> I'm efficient and lazy at the same time. Well, just right click on our existing pattern click new pattern and then select the circular pattern from the drop down, and then I can just select a circular hole for an axis. That's easy programming right there. Now engraving should be easy. In the past, there have always been trouble because designer wants to use pretty text and machinists want to machine stick font. Well, that fight can finally end. From the 2D milling menu, select engraving, you will go and select your tool and then just pick the edges of your text. There was just a few examples on what our great CAM developers have made available to you. So uh, go to cam.autodesk.com and uh, check out the development updates.